it's old. Racism is so old. Hating each other is so old. Everything is so the fuck old. It's like, what is the reason for the hate? Seems like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see like my what is the goddamn deal? What's the deal, people? Shit, another beautiful day. Your boy back trying to do another one. Now, what I'm gonna need y'all to do is like, comment, subscribe, and share to everybody. I'm trying to get 6K, 10K, whatever y'all want me to be at, I wanna be at. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the new artists I just dropped this morning. If you haven't seen the video I dropped, please check the link down below. I should remember to put it in if I don't. You saw it, it's the reaction before this one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, we need to get into Stop Blaming a White Man. My last video I did before the one I just did was pictures by Adam Calhoun and it was the same shit I was talking about. I said the same thing. We gotta stop blaming the white man for everything. We can't blame them for everything no more. It's 2021. It's 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 we all have fault as well. You know what I'm saying? We all got fault and everything. But let's get into it with uh Naka featuring Sergi. I think that's what it is. Hold on, let me get this shit situated. That's my little boot thing hit me up. Sorry baby, but I'm doing something right now. But anyways look it's called stop blaming the whites, man. That's what a lot of people do. We and, and uh, a lot of black people, you know what I'm saying? And we can't we can't keep doing that no more, man. Like for real. I say we as my race and whole, not me myself, but we as a race and whole. But let's go ahead and get into it. They talking about Naka Future and Sir J. Sir J. Here's how to sell. Ah, uh, that's how you gonna do me out, some bitches, man. Hold on. Sell us courses from power. I ain't even gonna try to cuss. I'm trying to stop yeah. cussing and stuff too. You know what I mean? Cause I'm trying to get monetized a lot more. And see that if I stop cussing, maybe things will work better on my YouTube channel. I get seen a lot more. Cause supposedly me cussing is effing things up. Ain't son of a biscuit eater. You know what I'm saying? So look, let's go ahead and start this over. God darn it! It's not gonna work. Me not cussing. I'm telling you. <laughs> It ain't gonna work. Mm. He said, I'm not blaming the white man. You hate white people, but you work for a white man. Real talk. <laughs> real talk. Real talk, man. Like, for real. We, I can't say we, my race, a lot of people, my race. Talk all this shit about white people this, white people that, white people this, white people that. But they bosses is white, they lawyers is white, everything about them is white. You know what I'm saying? They agents is white, everything is white. So you can't really blame white people for everything, man. You can't blame them. It's, it's, we gotta stop blaming them for anything right now. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of police this, police that, you know, it's always white people or white cops shooting black people, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta stop blaming everybody for all, for, I can't say for all faults, because like I said in my last video, some of this shit we can't control, you know what I'm saying? But some of it we can, bro. Once we stop doing that, well, the world will move on a lot better for us as a whole, for my race. Once we stop blaming some shit that happened hundreds of years ago, even however many, 50, 40, 60 years ago, you know what I'm saying? Probably 70 years. However long it's been, it don't matter. It's just, it's to the point to where, like, who gives a fuck anymore? You know what I'm saying? Like, I cussed. God dang it. I cussed. Who don't care no more? You know what I'm saying? Who cares anymore, should I say? Like, we should just really let this go, man. Get yourself a check, go spend it on white brands. The Real talk. We've been, we been it in ourselves. White people held us back. Now we hindering ourselves. Huh. Everybody who clothes better. We ignorant ourselves. Real Can't talk. Blame the white people. We do it to ourselves. Real talk. We can fix that shit ourselves. We really can. We can in the mule. We can get that shit ourselves. Yeah, we like can. We like the enemy. Let's take accountability. Huh. Shot the same three times. Call it a trilogy. Real talk. Everything he's saying is the motherfucking truth, man. We gotta stop blaming other people, bro. We gotta step our own game up, man. Yeah, we got held back, but shit. We ain't getting held back no more. It's too much money out here in this world to make. Everybody's getting money now. You know what I'm saying? You got people way younger than me, got way more, hundreds of thousands of dollars more than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's motherfucking crazy. I don't get it. But everything he's saying is true as hell. You know what I mean? And I hope that 1.7 million people that watched, I hope y'all got the message in this and really was like, you know what? We do gotta stop because doesn't make any sense, man. Honestly, it really don't. Niggas out here beefing with niggas they went to school with. Real talk. Exchange bullets with people you was cool with. Real talk. Cops shoot a black man, we run into his projects. Nah. Cops shoot a black man, all we do is protest. Real, real shit. Real fucking shit. I gotta stop this, man. Real shit. It's, it's like, we'll sit there and shoot an op that is the same race as us. 
And I hate to say it, but we don't shoot the motherfucking cops to kill us all the motherfucking time. And a lot of people are gonna be like, well, you don't need to be shooting cops, I understand it. But they don't need to be shooting us either as much as they do, you know what I'm saying, at all. You know what I mean? And we're gonna go back and forth to what white people this and black people go through. It's like, it doesn't even matter, man. But y'all niggas will sit here and go kill your apps before you even try to do anything to Zimmerman that need it, you know what I'm saying? To other people that needed it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. And like he said, you went to school with these people and you beefing with them. You know them since third grade, fourth grade, second grade. You grew up with these people. Y'all live right down the block from each other. But yeah, y'all rather beef with each other than come together and make something happen. If everybody put their money together in the hood, imagine the world the way the hood would be. You know what I'm saying? I was fortunate enough, which I don't mean, I hate to say it like that, but I was fortunate enough to not ever have to grow up in the hood. I didn't live in the hood until after I was fucking 21. So I cussed again. It don't even matter. But I, I you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's to the point to where it don't matter anymore. People like, it really don't matter, bro. We just need to move the hell on. Ballin', I be on my couch, reading James Baldwin. Uh. Rufus, niggas too lazy to go and do shit. Real talk. Man, Lord, looking for money, not show excuses. Couple uh. people that I fuck with from a distance. We hate the government, but Me get too. government assistance. Real yeah, talk. You what you did in the past, and why tell us? Uh. And I ain't blaming no white man for my failures. Uh. And I don't blame the judge for the time I did. To be honest, I should have never did the crime. Talk. He is on some shit. I'm glad whoever sent me. I don't even know who sent it to me, but look, I'll find it real quick just so I can shout you out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's to the man, you know, I can't even really talk, bro, because it's like, bro, what, what's, what's the point, man? What is the goddamn point of, of any of this stuff? Naka, a black rap artist from Chicago. Shout out to Keith Morales, man. That's who it was, Keith Morales. But, man, like, oh. Racism is so old. Hating each other is so old. Everything is so the fuck old. It's like, what is the reason for the hate? Like he said, you hate the government, but you're getting food stamps. You're getting motherfucking stimulus checks. You're getting all this extra shit. I really can't call stimulus checks out, but like the government assistance shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't make no sense, man. I never really ever wanted to be on food stamps. Even myself. I never really, I think I applied once my whole life. You know what I'm saying? Or twice, but only got it once. Cause that's not me, that's not the type of life I, I can rather go work with my business and go hustle and get some goddamn money instead of trying to get some government assistance when I know I don't need nobody. If anything, the world needs me and my voice and my mind frame and everything that I say, you know what I'm saying? But I don't need nobody. Just like he's saying, he, don't, he can't blame the judge for the time that he did. He should never did the crime that he did. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. What they always say, don't do the time. I mean, don't pay the, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime, you know what I'm saying? Perfect example is that I ain't got no felonies. I barely been in jail a few times, you know what I'm saying? Well, not about a few to five, six times. But it's always the worst shit I ever got was a DUI in New Mexico. I was over 11 years ago, 12 years ago. I'm not a jail person. I admit it, I can't do jail. I was locked in closets as a kid, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And beating shit. So it's like, and I can't know what it was a matter. I cussed. And beating stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I get it, you know what I mean? I get it to why I can work hard, why I can have the mind frame that I have, why I don't like jail, why I don't like small cars, you know what I'm saying? It just, just, the goddamn don't make no sense, man. It really don't make no sense, people. Once we get past all this, man, goddamn, the world will be a better place. But like I keep saying, man, we probably will never will, man, because, you know what I'm saying, everybody wants to sit here and have their own opinion about things and don't want to come together about things, and it's like, for what? This is old, people. She never did the crimes that I did. Mm -hmm. Running on the streets. Real talk. I had to get this money for the babies to feed. So had to. Touch me. Real talk. I won't make mistakes in the past, but today I'm on my best behavior. On my best behavior. I'm on this is I'm not being the right man. No, no, no. You can't blame him no more. Knock ain't stupid. He ain't wear the screw in me. Shoes is minorities too, but they got unity. Hey man, he's spitting that truth. But they got unity. He's saying Jews is my order, but they got unity. You know what I'm saying? He's not stupid like he said. A lot of us ain't stupid. We just want to act oblivious and blind to this shit. We all say we want to stop this and stop that, and we'll say it on camera and everything. But behind closed doors, ain't nobody really going to do shit. Because they, like they like the position that they in. Especially these elites. They not finna help us do shit. We got all this C C-19 shit going on. We got all this extra Delta shit going on. It's like, what's the point, man? We need to be worried about that, not the white man. You know what I'm saying? Not this person next door, or this person over here, or this person. Like, that's irrelevant. Because when everything hits the fan, we all going to be in this together. What are we going to do, rob each other, or are we going to rob who we need to rob? Which I'm not condoning no violence. I'm just saying. Who are we going to take it out on each other, or are we going to take it out on the people who's actually got our hands on their hands on us like god darn puppets? Oh, I didn't cuss that time. I said god darn. <laughs> I'm working on it.
dignity. I won't say a holocaust equate to slavery. Mm. How you bounce back as a culture, that shit amazes me. Happy Real everyone, talk. They look at us like we foolish. Uh. People are in debt that we the biggest consumers. Real talk. OJ said he ain't black, that shit was comical. Tell how the police treat us as diabolical. Uh. Still are underdogs, shit isn't fair. When something don't sit well with you, switch up the chair. Real talk. I'm in love with every race. I'm just giving you factors. I'm in love with every race too. I have no smoke with no race. I don't care about none of that. I don't have no smoke with white people, black people, a little bit with black people, because I didn't give them my god dark nerves, you know what I'm saying? I'm, but still, that's a whole other topic. But I don't have no smoke with nobody. I love everyone. That's why I don't mind helping nobody. That's why I don't mind talking to people. That's why I comment to mostly everybody that I can comment to, you know what I'm saying? There's something that I haven't, I try to like it and love it, you know what I mean? It's just, the world's a beautiful place. There's a lot of beautiful people here. If we all put our differences aside, man, god darn. Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, but god dang, man, like, the world would be so awesome. Just imagine a week of no racism, of no killings, of no nothing, just happiness. Everybody getting along, we all at the beach, we all spending money, we all in the club together, even though I don't go to clubs, we all in this thing together. Just having a good darn big old ball, you know what I'm saying? You know how Mexicans be, uh, and, and I love my Mexican, have my people Mexican. We know how they party, we need to party like them. You know what I'm saying? We can all get white boy wasted. You know what I'm saying? As long as we don't we just keep the drama to a halt, to a zero. You know what I'm saying? Let's just come together, people. Come on, man. Let's just everybody do it right now. Let's just come together. If you're watching this video, comment below and say, yeah, I want to come together with you. And we got that. We got it. We hate when they call us niggas, but we calling them crackers. Got the heart of a black man. Mother of an Asian. Uh. Take excuses from a person, they gon' rise to occasion. Uh. You ain't educated, keep your mouth closed, nigga. Real and talk. Blame the white man. Blame your household, nigga. Real He's talk. Living in the projects and paying rent for apartments. Uh. Own nothing but a rollie. Yeah, we feel accomplished. Real we talk. A couple dollars and we think that we did it. I pray y'all really compromise and we hate to admit it. Hey, man. It, it's... I don't understand why it's not easy to get out the projects. Like I said, I haven't lived there, so I don't really know. But if you got money and everybody getting money, there's no point in staying there. But we all dying. My race is dying for a block that they own. They don't own. They're dying for a street that don't even have their name on them. They're dying for an address that they paying rent on. You know what I'm saying? They're dying for a block that has nothing to do with them other than the house that they live in. Nobody can control a block. This is my block. This is my hood. No, it's not. Because you don't own it. You know what I'm saying? If you own the houses, most of the houses in the hood, and you name in the streets, you change the street names. I don't know if you could do that, but if they could change the street names to Nipsey Hustle Boulevard and all this extra stuff, then I'm pretty sure we could do the same thing. Being alive. When you want to be alive right now, getting this money instead of dying, your neighbor's killing you, your partner's killing you, your partner's setting you up, your female's setting you up. It's like, what is the point at the end of the day? What's the point? What, what are you getting? You know what I mean? What is black people getting to fight each other? Where are we getting nothing? Black on black crime is a whole term right now, which is dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, ask yourself, what's the point of this? Well, it's the way I grew up. So what? Do you have to continue, continue to keep living your life like that? No. You know what I mean? And like you said, you got to blame your household. You can't blame the white man. It's not the white man's fault that your parents didn't teach you an education, teach you how to do credit, teach you how to do uh, start businesses, teach you how to live the right way. It's not nobody's fault but your household and your fault. Regardless of how much, a how old you are, you can see everything. All my homeboys did coke, all my homeboys did other drugs. I ain't never done nothing. I ain't never popped no pill, done nothing but smoke weed and drink alcohol. That's it. And did salvia one time. And I ain't even do enough for me to trip. I tripped a little bit, but that was it. Never done nothing else. Why? Because my mind frame, my mind frame was totally different than everybody else. I ain't got to be like you. I don't have to be like nobody. I want to be me. I'm John Marshall. I don't want to be no other reactor. I don't want to be no other person. I don't want to sound like nobody. I want to be me. I got my own life, and I know my purpose in life, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Why can't we all do that shit? Mentality of a slave, you right where we started. Mm. Can't even exercise, they'll kill you for jogging. They Real told me to educate. What the fuck was I to do? Huh. My parents ain't know no better. What the fuck is I excuse? Another man Real talk. That's what you telling me now? I know it's hard, but you can get a job or sell it now. The world will never hold hands. It was meant to be evil. We yearn for equal rights, but it'll never be equal. Someone gotta pray for us. We get shot like it's legal to human. We gotta accept that it'll <laughs> never be equal it'll never be equal and he's speaking about felons man here's the deal here's my thing man i got my i started a little credit company everybody's scared to give up the information so i don't be i don't be posting about it no more but if you are a felon and you have felonies hit me up i can get your felony not removed from your background as far as the cops but removed for people to be able to pull it up 
and it's legit legal. It's not illegal at all. It's just credit, secondary credit bureaus that houses your information that a lot of us don't know about, that I found out about. That all you gotta do is take your information out there. Now they don't know, they no longer can pull up evictions or convictions. So if you have a felony or you ever got kicked out, they can't pull it up. $50, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. All I gotta do is one thing. Give me a couple weeks. By that time, your felony not gonna show up. So now you can go get that plant job. Now you can go get that that nice apartment or whatever if you got the bread for it. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up, man. I got you, man. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yes. That's what I just got them saying. But it's irrelevant, baby. We out fuck the police and they tell us we crazy. Uh, Real talk, bro. Ironically, I was sleeping when y'all was screaming y'all woke. That's probably mean that he was just sleeping that night. You know what I mean? While people screaming, they was woke that night. Like, nah, a lot of people ain't woke. They act woke. That's that fake woke. They'll tell you all day on camera in person. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with the white people. I'm messing with the uh, black folks. You know what I'm saying? But go behind closed doors and just a whole totally different people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know too many people who's on camera right now who is not who they really are. You know what I'm saying? I'm the same way on and off camera. If you don't believe me, man, holla at my people. You know what I mean? Holla at my, my boo now. You know what I'm saying? Should tell I'm the same goddamn way, bro. I'm the same exact way. I have no reason to change, no reason to be something that I'm not. And just like he said with Zimmer, why is he still alive? Do I condone violence? No. But why is this man still alive? Seriously. If I had it my way, I'd have been did it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not out there. You know what I mean? It's not no excuse. I can travel out there and go do it. But man, you know what I'm saying? I can't do that right now. But if I'd if I'd have been there, I probably would have. Just and I know it's gonna sound crazy and everybody's gonna be like, oh, don't say that. But it, it's the truth, man. There's a lot of people in this world who don't deserve to have a life, regardless of what they were born and everything. There's people who take advantage of life. Life is beautiful. Life is what you make of it. There's so many beautiful things in this world. There's so many beautiful people in this world, especially homeless people. Homeless people is most one of the beautifulest people in the world. They got stories. We look at them like they just bums and oh my God, whatever. You don't know what they've been through. You know what I'm saying? They probably been through way worse stuff than you've been through, but they still making it. I commend homeless people. You know what I mean? I commend homeless people because they, they make it, bro. They sleep outside all the time in the rain, sleet, snow. It don't matter. Thunder, it doesn't matter. They outside. Well, meanwhile, while we in this luxury apartment, living it up, that's not fair. That is not fair at all. Why do we? Why can't we take care of our people? Why can't we take care of each other? Why can't a race just come together, man? Like seriously, dude, I hate this world, bro. I love this world. I hate the people in it. Should I say? I told them to focus up. They think it's a joke. My photo, you niggas next. Get your knee out my throat. Uh, I'm gone. I'm gone. Real talk, though. Nope. Running on the streets. Ooh. On my best behavior. Make my own decisions. We all can make our own decisions. We don't have to have no elites, no president, no we goddamn Republican, Democrat, vice, whatever. We don't need nobody to tell us nothing. We don't need them. They need us. Understand that. Without us wanting to be on housing and government assistance, they won't have nothing. Without us going to Walmart and spending all this money with all these companies and stuff, they wouldn't have us. They know they need us. We don't know that, though. We don't know that if we had each other back, that we don't need them. A lot of us say we do, but nobody, we're so accustomed to what they built in America to say this is an American dream, and now we believe in all the stuff that everything was a goddamn lie. You know what I'm saying? So all we got to do is just man up, step up, you know what I mean, and think different. And be like, you know what, let me get out this box that I've been in for so long. Let me get out this, this, this realm of a world that they pictured perfect that is not perfect at all it's far from perfect and we know this like i said all we got to do is just come together until then bro we can't ask for nothing nothing's gonna change nothing's gonna ever be different if you doing the same thing to get different results they say that's insanity it's insane to have racism still it's insane that races can't come together it's insane that we're blaming white people since still it's a shame that we're blaming everything on everything else when it's really a lot of stuff that we go through as a whole, as a race, it's our fault. You know what I'm saying? When when can we accept that? God dang, man. No, 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 no. Real talk. For you guys to be okay tonight and to stop this chaos. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not us. God damn. It's not me. It's not us. It's the police. It's the badness that they spark up. Real 
talk though. Like seriously, man. You don't not know. You know, a lot of people will never understand how it feels as a black man to get put over by the police, knowing you know what's going on. It's scary, bro. It's scary to be black in America right now, especially a black man, you know? Especially a black man in my caliber, the way I think and the way I talk and the way I care myself, that shit's scary. But I'm not scared to die. Kinda am, but you know, whatever my time's gonna come, you know? But it's like, it is what it is, man. Just the world I live in, I, I accepted it a long time ago. I accepted it a long time ago, nothing's ever gonna change because the people as a whole is not gonna change. We're gonna get so far, we're gonna get so far behind while these elites get so far ahead that there's not gonna be no coming back. When this, when everything hits the fan and goes down and people start be like, oh my God, I wish I would've woke up a long time ago or I wish I would've did this. You can't wish nothing that you should do, that you should be doing right now that you gonna wanna do later. We could have been doing this a long time ago. I've been on this work stuff for some years now. Is that a spider? Watch out, spider. Got him. But anyways, I've been on this work stuff for a long time. And it doesn't make no sense that people can't see what's really going on. They can't see that we're just puppets. That's all we are. We're puppets. They need workers. That's why they don't teach you credit in school. They don't teach you business in school. They don't teach you none of that in school. They don't barely teach you cooking. They got a little cook program, you know what I'm saying? But that's just for you to go work for somebody else. They don't want nobody to start their own businesses because they, they know we're not going to need them. The money is a rule to all evil. If your pockets is fat, you want them to be fat, you're going to try to step on everybody's neck like he said. For what reason? I don't know. Can't blame the white man. I'm not blaming the white man for nothing. At all. I got a homeboy right now, so cool, man. Cool and the fan got my back, I got his back. He white. My neighbor, bro. Shout out to my dude, him and his sons. I, you know what I'm saying? White people are some of the coolest white people. I mean, white people are some of the coolest people. Like the real cool white people, they cool as hell. Super cool, you know what I mean? They'll have your back, they'll do anything for you. It's just a lot of them grew up in the world that we all live in. Hey, you know, these people are bad people because somebody else made us bad. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if all the camera and made us, you know, look this and look that and look like this and look like that. Of course, man, it's designed like that. I just hope that we all wake up one day. I'm woke. I've been woke for some years now. You know, I was always like this as a kid, like Papa Duck say. Shout out to Papa Duck. I bring him up a lot because I learned a lot from this man. You know what I'm saying? I, I love giving people their flowers while they're here. I learned a lot from this man. Without this man right now doing the videos that he do, I wouldn't know a lot of the stuff that I know. And I'm very proud to say I learned a lot from Papa Duck. I even put something up right here just so y'all can know who I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, we can't keep screaming we want to be equal and all this other stuff if we're not putting our work for it. it. It's so easy to make money right now. We don't need nobody. Can't nobody tell you nothing, no matter if you're from the hood, slums, the dirt, whatever. Now, if you was in another country, I understand that they do shit in other, they do stuff in other countries that are messed up. But in this country, we can do anything we want to do. If we put our minds to it, we don't need the government. The government needs us. I love all people, man. I love you all. Anybody who watches it to the end, let me know. I love everybody. I don't have, I don't discriminate. I don't care about anything else, dude. I love everybody in this world, rather whatever, whatever religion, whatever you got. I don't care. I love everybody in this world. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. But I got to go and do some more. Shout out. I'm not blaming the white man no more.